Hey everyone, so today I wanted to show you how I use thenounproject.com to help me create my own custom icons in Articulate Storyline. So the Noun Project is very comprehensive in terms, it's kind of like a, a crowdsourced um, illustration platform where creators come and they um, create their, they upload their designs um, their iconography and if you don't have an account you can use the um, icons free with attribution or you can pay to have attribution. Now the paid account is $39.99 per year which is a steal for anything and everything that you want here. I mean this site has it all. They've like look we've got paws, we've got dog houses, we've got a stethoscope if I want to look up um, kitty cat, I'm going to get a whole bunch of cats. If I want to look up documents, I will get different types of documents. And all you do is you select the document that you want. And if you have an account, um, you'll just have a download link. If you don't have if you don't have a paid account, you will have the um, like the give attribution or pay for the the icon option. Now. You can also customize which colors you want them to appear in, which is super helpful. Um, I use mostly white and black, um, but I have used green, which is great for um, like if you have a if you're looking for check boxes, for example, the green ones are really helpful, and so is the red. So anyhow, this is where I download my little icons, and once I have those downloaded. I'm going to show you how I go about creating a, um, I guess, an object um, or icon within Articulate Storyline. So it always starts with a shape. I'm going to select the oval shape. It's my favorite shape to create things from. Um, so I'm just going to create my shape here. Let's say I want it to be purple. Make my outline purple. And then what I'm going to go and do is add my image. Now I just excuse my download folder, it's really bad. Um, let's say I'll take this ballot box here. So then I get my image and I just resize it. And these are fully scalable, which makes it really great for creating um, icons. And I'm gonna scale my oval a little bit, move this over. Um, I'm going to position it a little more horizontally. Uh, that's that's good enough. Um, and then I have my little icon. So what I like to do to clean up my timeline is, see how I've got my oval one and picture one? I'm just going to highlight both of those and select Control G. And now I have grouped those ob two slide objects into one. They are my icon. I can still edit them if I click in. You just have to click multiple times. So click once, I get my group. Click second, I get my oval. And click third, I get my picture. And if I get my picture, I can quickly swap out um, by using the change picture functionality and say, instead of a ballot box, I want this document. I can change that very easily. You can also go in and adjust your slide objects from the expand um, group function. So that's one way. Another, I'll show you another um, quick way you can create a custom icon. So we've got our object here. I'm just going to steal this photo. I'm going to control C and then control V and I'm going to use that same file and then I can add some text. So say for the rectangle, I want to um, call this um, quality assurance checklist because we've got a checklist document here. I'm going to format that. So I'm going to align it to the left. I'm going to bold that font and I'm going to increase the size. And I think that might be too big of a font. There we go. And then as I did with my other icon, I'm going to select them all and then select Control G and group them. 
And now I have this cool custom quality assurance checklist icon or button or whatever the heck you want to do in Storyline. So that's how I use the Noun project to, in, in conjunction with Storyline to help me create my own custom icons. This has gone over very well with clients. They like the custom look and feel. So if you can do something very simply like that, why don't you?